Slavo. Slavo? <laughs> like everything else in this bus, right? get to put a new one in and guess what I am not going to do. <laughs> not? Yeah, I'm not going to do that again. This one's black. 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 I hope that don't make the temperature warmer it being black. But no, it, it won't. It, that won't have an old thing. Maybe you should bring it in then take it out. If I'm right about that. <laughs> I hope so. Right? Mm hmm The bottom of that box is new. Let's see what kind. Let me show what kind it is. Yeah, it's the cheap kind from Walmart, so we'll yep. see how it does. Cheap Walmart. Cheap Walmart, brand. Hallelujah. It's 5,000 BTU. Little tiny baby. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. Now, what I'll have to do is put that junk together. I guess this will hold it all up, right? Oh, that's sharp Dad. looking. That's sharp looking. I she hope it don't flake. Go in them windows. I know, it's tiny. That's small. It just might. It's 13 inches tall. If you throw it in there, you might be sad. <laughs> and it's manual, not digital, so. It's 13 inches. Mm -hmm. But you got to be able to open a window. <laughs> it's been running for a little bit. Old people would remember Speed Racer. Old people would remember the Speed Racer. Yeah. And when Speed Racer would come in, they said, Yay! So, that's not Speed Racer, but. Yay! It's a replacement. Yay! <laughs> so, he's working on getting the cabinets in, and this one is taller than this one. So, he's adding this two by two here. And we'll paint it so we can so the hopefully the countertops will be even Sawdust, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> Here it is. We gotta cut out of space for that diesel line thing. Working on leveling that cabinet out there. Johnny's gonna 
probably put some kind of something underneath it or brace it to this cabinet to make it level because it's right now not level. Get another battery. Yeah. We got our picks coming in through. Running in. And that's our hot water heater there. We got one more shelf that'll go in that spot right there. One more cabinet, I mean. Oh man, I think I really like this color. I was real skeptical when we bought that panel board. But on this wall, it really looks good, I think. So that's what we're working on. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? It's gonna look good with the white, see? Wow. I told you you'd like this board better than the one you had picked out. So we did this wall. You still got to do that side over there and not. Got to get some plates for those. Yeah. And then let's look at the what you just did. If I can see it in here with the darkness going on. This on the other side of that is going to be the shower. And we are sliding the last cabinet in. I hope it fits after all we've done here in this spot. <laughs> Looks like it might. Looks like it might. This done got dark outside. Ooh. Now let's get the leveler. <laughs> no, <laughs> we don't like the leveler. <laughs> Johnny Dong, anyway. Ooh, sharpie, sharpie. Might have to level it though. Speaking of leveler, it's level. <laughs> like everything else in this bus, right? Is level. Looking better. Yep. Looking like a house. Like a home. It's another day. I'm trying to get some some light because it's been raining outside. And uh, Johnny got home a little bit early and so he's working on some things. He's actually disappeared for the moment. Um, I'm waiting on him to come back. But I'm going to show you what he's working on today. So as we probably already showed um, we can't bolt that last final cabinet in because I've got to test the plumbing I just want to make sure it's good and then he's working on this area there's a hole down there <laughs> um, this is the shower area that's the shower pan he took it out so he's working on getting it cleaned up so he can glue this down to there and we'll be putting this drain <laughs> we're using this it's hard to see because it's so not sunny um, and there's not much light but we're using this thing here it's drain um, and this so it's supposed to be no caulk. Good afternoon. I'm in my bus and I'm going to hook up my connector into my shower pan. I got my bus is a little under construction right now. It's like a job site. Uh, that's my shower pan. It's kind of got a little dirty from my working here but that's my hole there for my shower pan to seat in I had to cut it two or three different times that's why it looks boogered but it's gonna work uh, had to get my hole right I think we showed you before uh, yeah, cut one roll and put the steel back in it but it's gonna be on the bottom of everything so it's not gonna be a problem this is kind of self-explanatory so it's not a how-to video at all, um, but I just want to show you. This right here is going to be, is the bottom. It's got that 
threads those threads on here it's just kind of throwing me but I think my pipe it'll just plug up into there um, up under when I get up under the bus there when I get this in I'm gonna get this in and seated and everything and then when I run my pipe just plug my pipe up in there I don't think I need um, a lock coupling for this I don't think but like like I say you know I'm no I don't know plumbing and this is not a how-to this is just look at what I did Jules here so um, Johnny's having to work late and I went today to Lowe's and I did pick up the countertop yay countertop but um, also I got some PEX fittings so we're using shark bite um, before I started all this project all of this uh, bus plumbing stuff um, all the videos I watched said that the shark bite was really good, um, that it was reliable and everything like that. So anyway, now that I've finished half the plumbing, plumbing with the PEX shark bite, um, I'm reading all kinds of things and seeing all kinds of YouTube videos where they're saying, don't use the shark bite. So. Anyway, I'm, I've already done it, and I'm, if we, Johnny said, don't worry about it. If we have leaks, we'll just go in and figure it out. Now, the shark bite is very expensive. Um, I didn't realize how many fittings I would actually need. It's a good bit, but I bought some today. I bought these elbow fittings, and if you know anything about it, which I don't, I'm learning, but I don't. Um, you know that usually the ends are kind of like golden. Well, today at Lowe's, they, they were kind of short and shark bite things. So, um, I saw these elbows and I thought it was the right thing. But you see that gray end right there? So, that is not for what we have. It's for um, polybutylene to pecs so one end is for the pecs but the other end is for a different type of pipe so i've ordered on amazon because to be honest it's hard to get this stuff at lowe's um totally in stock but i went ahead and just ordered some from amazon and i'm gonna wait it out and another thing that i did i'm gonna show you guys hold on See, I'm not going to show you because it's kind of dark back there right now. Um, but I'm just going to tell you what I did. So yesterday we got in a little bit of a hurry, or I did. I wanted to go ahead and get that um, faucet mixer valve on for the shower. And I didn't have the proper elbow. So I needed that the PEX to um, half inch female elbow so that it can point down. Well, what I did was I put just a regular PEX on there and then I came along later and put one of these elbows on there that was the wrong one with the gray end. So I ended up um, removing it. I watched Johnny and saw how he did it yesterday. So um, the way that he um, was able to remove the thing and take the fittings off and all that kind of stuff. So I went and I took it off and I re-taped with Teflon tape or plumber's tape, whatever you call it, um, and I put the right one on. So anyway, so I did that all by myself today. I didn't show any of it, but it's done. And now I'm just gonna wait on those proper elbows to get here. Hey guys, Jules here. So I am coming to you as I am editing this video and um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here um, because I don't want it to go too very long so thanks guys for 
watching all the way to the end. We really appreciate you. If you have not subscribed to our channel, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Um, we're trying to reach 500 subscribers by the end of June. So if you will, give us a subscribe and a thumbs up. And we sure do appreciate you watching. And if you're still breathing, there's still hope.